facing the verdict. Practice making me perfect. Young, rich, and motivated. Got no time to stress. And good is just an understatement, baby. I'm This episode was brought to you by Sultanian Wealth Management. With over 10 years of investing experience, we believe in helping you manage your funds. Whether from business expansion, wealth preservation, annuity programs, and capital growth, we can help you. Visit the experts at SultanianInvestments.com. That's SultanianInvestments.com. Gen Y, Gen X, Millennials, Generation Me, Generation Internet. You know who you are. You've been crushed hit hard by this economy. So if you're dealing with college debt, I mean, maybe you're even trying to move out of your parents' house or start a new business. Look, the only way you're going to be able to do that is to be able to produce and to get people to pay you what you're worth. I'm fighting for your generation. I'm not counting you out. I believe in you. We're here to give young hustlers the advice and tools they need to succeed in the 21st century. That was some good. That was some good fodder, right dude, there, dude. Dude, fodder, fodder out. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, welcome to Young Hustlers. Welcome Thursday. to Young Hustlers. Every Thursday, Thursday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we bring you a show Grant to keep your hustle Cardone. tight. At Jerry Glenn, we come to you to get that hustle tight, to keep it vibrant, to keep it exciting. Because it's, not about it's, your age. it's tough, man. It's tough, in it, but it ain't about your age. I mean, you know, it, it's about the information that you have and how fast you're able to use. Dude, it. let me tell you. When I woke up this morning and I got out of bed, I rolled my two feet, hit the ground. I realized, I'm like, damn, there's gravity, man. I'm being held down. I don't want to be held down hey, the anymore. The only thing gravity's good for is keeping you down. Totally, right? And then, and then I, I realized, oh, I'm hungry. I'm like, oh, man, I'm being held down. I, now I got to feed myself. Oh, I'm thirsty. Now I got to take a piss. Dude, all day long, I'm like servicing all this stuff. I just want to be free, man. So we did this show. Jerry came to me and said, Grant, you need to, because you... Tell, tell I, well, the story, dude. The, 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 the reason, man the reason is because the, the most people giving advice are really old and they're boring. Dude, they old that's when just, they're young. I know, just, I know guys that are 12 that are old. That's just real. Like, and then, like and then the, guys, the guys that are out there giving advice that are young, in most cases, shouldn't be giving advice in the first but place. But they got a Lambo. And, and they got a, a, a web page and a bunch of fake followers. So you just got to be really careful with the, the, the people you let in your space. And I said, Grant, this is an opportunity for you, man. Yeah, yeah. Opportunity. A lot of people need the help. They need it from somebody cool. They need it from Uncle G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so look, we do this show every week, okay? It's, it's provided to you by GCTV, okay? We create a studio here so we can deliver what we wanted, when we wanted, how we wanted to you, where you are. And today we're talking about be ruthless with your friends and your family. This is a topic I've never read anywhere mm -hmm. on the internet, never heard anybody talk about. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you permission right now. Look up the word ruthless. It's one of the most freaking hard words in the English oh, when you language. Hear, when you hear ruthless, what do you Dude, think about? I, well, I'll look it up When for I right hear now. ruthless, I think somebody that's just savage, like... Like savage, like just, just rip your throat out, head come guts. Having or showing no pity or compassion for others. Mm. 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 Merciless, pitiless, cruel, heartless, hard-hearted, cold-hearted, cold-blooded, harsh, callous, unmerciful, unforgiving, uncaring, unsympathetic, uncharitable. Now, and this is a word that probably a lot of you would never, ever associate anywhere near your family or friends. And that's probably the problem is because you're allowing these people to come in and influence and infiltrate your space. Yeah. So, which but, means you don't truly value yeah. your space. Yeah. But here's the deal. The word ruthless comes from the word Ruth. Oh. <laughs> was with her. <laughs> a feeling of pity, distress, or grief. So when you look deeper into the word, man, really, do, you, do I need to have pity on my sister? Do I need to have distress or grief for my sister? Really? I don't need people mm -hmm. feeling that for me. That didn't, that didn't lift me up, man. So when I went to my mom at, at 29 years old and said, I'm going to start a second business, and she's like, why, why would you do that? You're doing so good. You're, selling, you, you're making money right now. Why, yep. why change anything? Okay? I had to, hey, hey, knock that off, dude. I'm doing this deal. Naysayer. It's a naysayer. It's a dangerous person. Mm -hmm. she, she was not intentionally trying to hold me back. She was doing it out of love. Totally out of love. But here's the deal. You guys got to be ruthless with her, with that person. Because yep. if you're not, it's because you're not really being ruthless with you. Mm -hmm. So you got to get pity, pity less. Let me okay? ask you this, though. 
Ruthless is an aggressive word. Dude, it is. It is barbarian. And a lot of people like aren't ha- aren't aggressive that that aggressive. To, no. How, what, how what, would you even I, condition yourself to be ruthless because, with yourself? Because you got to understand that you've been socialized. You guys have been basically you've been a uh, been a laboratory experiment at, at the schools. They put you in the schools, and when they told you sit in that wood chair, that you would never buy that wood chair. Okay? Ever, ever. Okay, sit there and be quiet. And they basically put you through this system, and they basically said, dude, you can't be ruthless, you can't be loud, you can't be noisy. If you do any of that, you actually have a problem. Mm. No, you don't, man. That's why this new book I'm writing, Obsessed, is about giving you permission to be a maniac, Mm. because that's who you are, okay? So all those people at home that also have been socialized, mom, dad, Mm -hmm. uncle, aunt, now there's two two groups here. There's one that just doesn't know, and there's the other group that actually wants to hold you back. I'm gonna tell you the most dangerous group is not the one that's overt about it. Not the one that yeah. is actually trying to t- mm-hmm. t- t- kill you. It's the one that don't know. Your sister, man, your uncle. It, it's your cousin. Man, I love you, man. Always so good to see you, man. Man, we're buddies. When you're in town, let's go hang yeah, out, yeah, man. Yeah, you're not still doing that pyramid thing, are you? Oh, man. Huh? Huh? You made your million it, yet, man? man? Dude, when, when you gonna when are you going to understand, man? It's a scam, dude. Yeah, yeah, dude. Come on, man. Okay? Dude, that guy is dangerous. And you need to be ruthless at that point. You need to draw the line in the sand and say, bro, you cross that line again, okay, you're not in anymore. Mm -hmm. Now, my mom did that for me when I was 25. I I was using drugs all the time, and she finally put through the line and said, do not. She showed no pity, no mercy. No compassion. By definition, she was ruthless. 30 days later, I was in a treatment center and cleaning up from drugs. So that's what we're talking about today. We want to take your call, 305-865-8668. 305, you can also text in 305-865-8668. Jared's, Jared's armed, armed with the text This here. might be one of the biggest, biggest conversations you have this year. You're going to make a list today. You're going to draw a line on that list, and you're going to put in, who do, do I not need to confront? Do they stay or do they stay go? Do they stay or do they go? Stay okay. or do they go? Did you call me a day go? No. Okay. Hey, stay with us. How are we doing on time, guys? Good, man. Dude, appreciate all of you joining us today. This is at Jared Glenn. This is at Grant Cardone, okay. New York Times bestselling author, top 10 most influential CEO, and I, top eight to follow on I, Twitter 26. And I tell him all the time, dude, you need to get more ruthless, Jared. Mm-hmm. Okay, because I already got yeah. that muscle built. Okay. I've been socialized, okay. man. You've been working okay. it out a lot longer than I have, like them biceps. Hey. The fall is always the moment when you have to redefine yourself. Easy is not part of success. Easy is not part of life. When I was 33 years old, I faced the lowest point in my life. I was broke, I was battling demons of women, finances, alcohol, and drug addictions. And here I stand in front of you in the top 1% of car salesmen in the United States. Quitting was never an option for me. I keep pushing for my son, for my dreams, and what I'm attempting to create for my own life. My name is Mark Jennison, and this is The Comeback Corner. a millionaire twice and I've lost it all twice. And now I'm here to show you what it takes to come back and stand in the face of adversity, even if that adversity is yourself. This show is designed to prove that no matter how far you fall, no matter how great the defeat or failure, there's always a comeback. There's always an opportunity to redefine yourself, redefine who you are, and come back stronger, better, and faster than before. To learn more about Mark and his story, check out markjennison.com. That's markjennison.com. market offers financial expansion opportunities, but is all of it safe? And does all of it have opportunity? If you're looking for income financial planning and investing in your future, then Sean Stavanoa of Stavanoa Financial can help you get there. With over 20 years of experience, Sean has devoted her life to a vehicle where if you run out of principle, you won't run out of money because you continue to collect on income streams and she can help you do that. Sean offers safety and opportunity on the same dollar at the same time. You can have financial peace of mind knowing you will not run out of money before you run out of life. You have to make sure the money you saved outpaces inflation so that you can live the life of your dreams. Visit stavanovafinancial.com. That's stavanovafinancial.com to get started. Trust, confidence, and results lay the foundation of any marketing campaign. At Rush Impact Marketing, we take pride in helping your automotive dealership generate more traffic, increase gross profit, and deliver a lifetime of results. Rush Impact Marketing is the number one staff event, direct mail, digital, and consulting marketing company in the automotive industry with the sole intention of creating a solid and long-term relationship with each of our automotive dealership clients on a personal level. Grow your business, expand your name, generate more profits, utilize every social platform, every piece of 
mobile technology to get awareness out there about your dealership. Let us show the world who you are. Text SUPERSALE to 555-888 to get started today with your free market analysis. Yeah, right? right. Hey, 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 we're back, young hustlers. Grant Cardone TV here talking about being Ruth. Every Thursday, Ruth baby, Lewis, every man. Thursday, 12 p.m. Bringing you tips, bringing you strategies on how to get what you want out of life, man. We got a board full of colors, and I, you know, I, I, I think, I think that we're gonna get some, you know, some positive and hey, some negative. Here's on the deal, this. guys. Something happens bad in my life. Don't show me pity. Show me no mercy. Okay? You don't need to freaking feel sorry for me. I don't need that. If I need you're you the dealer at the blackjack table and he's got an ace and he doubles down, show him the card, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show him the card. <laughs> yeah, Be yeah, ruthless. Yeah, yeah. Now, 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 let me just say this, okay? <laughs> Look, you guys, gals, friends, my friends, understand this message today. We had another topic for today. I said, no, I want to do this. This is one of the most important things you will ever figure out in your life. It's not in a business book. They don't teach it at Carnell, okay? Gotta be ruthless, folks. Mm -hmm. I write this in, if you're not first, you're last. If, in your, if you're not first, you're last. The reason Donald Trump wiped out 16 other guys is because he's ruthless. Yeah. He is a dangerous man. Mm -hmm. He is willing to throw down at levels that nobody else, so what did he do? He sits there and makes a list of 16 guys. Jeb Bush, Marco Rubio, John Kasich. Chris Christie. I guarantee you this is what he did. What will they not do? Yeah. That's where I get to go. That's where I'm gonna go. What would all the politicians not do? Oh, they do the country club thing. Mm -hmm. You're my friend, yeah, you know. Yeah, Jared, you're my yeah. friend, man. My friend over here, we disagree on this thing, but he's my friend. He's like, I ain't doing that. He's wrong, he's a liar, he's <laughs> It's a thief. important to understand the needs of the people. He it's important. It's about exploiting, okay? It's, a, it's not about being a bad person. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> now, now, that's one thing, okay? But the, the big thing here is for your friends. So I'm gonna make a list. Hey man, who are the people in my life? Every day I'm talking closest, to them. The closest people, the people that influence you yeah. on, or, on a regular basis. I'm on the basis. phone with them every day, okay? I'm sleeping with them. I, I'm waking up to them. I'm, I'm hanging out with them. Yep. I'm going to have drinks with them, okay? I'm gonna get further and further out. I run into them casually. I was in Vegas this weekend. A guy says, man, that jet of yours, man, it's kind of an ugly plane, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Oh, thanks, okay. man. What's I said, your... you know, nobody's ever said that to me before. Nobody's ever said my jet that I own with my freaking name on has never said it was ugly, okay? I mean, compared to the one you don't have. <laughs> it's the truth, you know? It's so true, so I'm like, oh, okay, dude. I said, dude, why would you say that? That's just a stupid thing. Draw a line in the sand. That's stupid. Why are you acting like that? Did you not have enough to eat this morning? You drank too much last night? You feel bad about what? What is it, dude? Because I know the guy's not gonna. Feel, if he's a good guy, he doesn't feel good about it yep, later. Yep. No. Yep, totally. And and, and 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 so we're talking specifically about being ruthless with your friends and your family. This is very important. Coworkers, but people you're shooting pool with, dude. What what you're putting inside your freaking head, man? And yourself. And yourself. What about you, mm -hmm. man? Because here's the deal. If I won't tell Jared the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay, if Jared crosses the line with me and I'm like, hey dude, we work here every day and you're gonna do some of that bullshit? Yeah. Okay? If I won't handle him, it's because I hadn't handled me. If you guys feel mm -hmm. good enough about yourself, okay? If you got somebody, if he's got somebody working in the sales department kind of cheating the system, yeah. bagging, jacking. Shouldn't, shouldn't be there, yeah. yeah. If he doesn't talk to them, if he's not ruthless with them. It's because I'm not ruthless with myself. Dude, yeah. it, 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 you know, mm -hmm. oh, I don't want to hurt her feelings. You guys say that. I don't want to tell him the truth because it's going to hurt. Dude, bone up. Be a good friend. Mm -hmm. Be ruthless. See, the people around here know I'm going to tell you. I walk in, something's not right, and they do. <laughs> it's not like unexpected. No. Right? So that's why I was telling my wife, I'm like, you know, when Hillary in the election, when she tries to do the, I'm a tough guy against yeah, Trump, yeah, yeah. it ain't going to work. Because Trump can be a barbarian. Because he's already, he's that's already Trump. established that. Yeah. That's Trump. Yep. Hillary does it. Oh, damn. That's Ooh, she's, that, she's, she's ugly, she's man. Because she's been pretending to be somebody else. Mm. She's ruthless, too. He's Very ruthless, true. and he tells everybody. So who's, who's safer, right? She's pretending to be a wife. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So look, we want to take your calls. Chris <laughs> from Alabama, okay? Chris from Alabama. And, and I want to talk, talk about people maybe that haven't been, that you've seen this not. They got hurt in their life not doing this. Yeah, yeah, Can you think of somebody? Okay. Yeah, let me... Um, I know a guy, Ralph. Mm -hmm. Dude, Ralph was never ruthless. Everybody took advantage of Ralph. Everyone. And then Ralph got in so much financial trouble letting other people take advantage of him, from the girl he slept with to the guy that worked for him, his right-hand guy. So many people took advantage of Ralph mm -hmm. 
that Ralph, to solve Ralph's financial problem, ended up taking advantage of a bunch of banks. Oh, wow. Ended up freaking going bankrupt, losing everything, lost his reputation, because he would not stand up to the people around him. Chris? From Alabama. Chris, what do you yeah, hear me say up? to you, brother? Me and Jared here, the young hustlers. Uh, that's, some, that's some good stuff, man, because, uh, I mean, I was just recently going through that <laughs> same thing with my mom, you know, uh, you know, I just got just got a job with a car dealership, and she was telling me, she was like, well, Chris, you know, one thing I see that you got to get better at is listening to people. And I was like, well, why do you say that? Yeah. She was like, because you, cause you don't listen to me. I was like, well, I don't think I have a listening problem. I think it's just the fact that you're not in the, uh, you're not at the level that I want to be at in my life, so I'm not going to listen to you on everything that you have to say. Yeah, hey, Chris, let me tell you what you should tell her, okay? Hey, I'll start listening to you when you buy a car from me. Two-door or four-door. <laughs> right, right. You know, you need to sell her a car. You need to bring her a car right now today. Hey, you love me, right? You support me? You want good things for you me? You want to see me huh? do well? Yeah, yeah, well, lean on this pen. That's 96 payments. <laughs> <laughs> $684 dude, each. Dude, sell her a car, bro. Put her in a car. I mean, go freaking family her up. Hey, you guys want to find out find out who's on your side? Sell them your product. Right, dude, right. what if it's your spouse and she hangs around sisters and friends that have horrible relationships, marriages, and it's rubbing off on her? How do you get them away? Dude, I, 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 my wife, Elena. Oh, yeah. Second time this chick, Monica, comes to the house. I'm like, hey, you notice? Yeah. You notice every time she comes here, she's got a problem. I said, third time it happens, bro, never again. Next time she comes, I ate too much sugar. I'm like, hey, here's the deal. Monica, you need to go home. You need to go home now. What, why do I need to go home? Because you don't feel good. And when you don't feel good in my house, I don't feel good, okay? In fact, when you go home, you need to forget the address here. You don't get to come back. Erase me from your GPS until you get your game on. Mm -hmm. You had a period. Now you got your boyfriend problem. Now you got a sugar problem. Dude, we don't want you here at the house. Elena won't tell you I will. Yeah. Okay. And so notice in that last whatever it takes show, yeah. I don't know if you were here that day when the guy, I said, Elena, you think the guy's a pick? Tell him to his face. So I'm trying to help Elena build the muscle. Sure. Say it to his face. Build the muscle, not mm -hmm. to hurt people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys got to develop this muscle because it was hundred percent. You agree with that? A hundred percent. It's, it's like hard, with anything, man. dude. It's anything. You have, make it a cold call for the first time and getting hung up on. Like anything. The, like push-ups. Dude, dude, like anything. Like, like jumping anything. jacks. Yeah. Okay. But see, you got to understand that there's a problem and you Sex have to understand. the first time. <laughs> Felt pretty good for me. <laughs> <laughs> Better to give than receive. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stay with us. We're talking about how to handle negative people in your life. I'm not talking about haters today. I'm talking about you and people how you do. And you're people in. who love you and trust you and, you know, that kind of stuff, man. Leave a mark in your neighborhood with a lasting impression. A professional landscape can deliver that and more. And the man to bring it to you is Steve Griggs. Awarded the National Best of Howes in Client Satisfaction in 2016 with clients such as Dr. Oz and the Palisade Center Mall in West Nyack. Steve Griggs is New York's best landscape designer. This isn't landscape design, this is lifestyle design. For more information, visit stevegriggsdesign.com. That's stevegriggsdesign.com. Gaining financial independence is what every person seeks in today's world. With so many options when it comes to investing, it can be confusing to know what to do. Specialized IRA services helps you know the right direction to go. Whether you are looking for a self-directed IRA, a retirement account, or need the know-how, on funding a new business. Specialized IRA services help you gain control of your assets, your money, and your investments while being educated on the entire process. In removing Wall Street out of your investment, you can be sure to spend less on investment fees, taxes, and make more on your returns. Let the expert team at Specialized IRA services help you transform your family legacy and secure your financial independence. Visit SpecializedIRAServices.com, that's SpecializedIRAServices.com, to register for more info and receive a free ebook on your guide to financial freedom. That's specialized IRAServices.com. 
Credit affects every aspect of life. How's yours? At Safe Credit Solutions, we dedicate our lives to ensuring you can get the life you want. Safe Credit Solutions are FICO certified consultants, and we are trained to be immediately at your service, find solutions, and repair your credit. Our goal is to grow your credit, add stability, and accomplish the goals you want for your life. With month-to-month services and live monitoring of our progress, we can get results for you within 30 to 45 days. Visit SafeCreditSolutions.com. That's SafeCreditSolutions.com to get a free credit consultation from our expert team. And let's get you on the path to repairing your credit today. That's SafeCreditSolutions.com. Man, we talking ruthless young hustlers I'm every ruthless. Thursday, noon East Coast Standard Time. Grant Cardone, meet Grant Cardone. He's getting fired up. He's gonna start foaming at the mouth, man. You know, you know why you can be ruthless with everybody else, though. Before you can do that, dude, you, you're so right, dude. You gotta be ruthless. How with hard yourself. am I on myself, dude? Huh? And. Th- you're 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 harder not you're hard on yourself ninety eight percent of the time. Yeah, like almost in every. So when I because ha- I hammer on Jared all yeah. the time, you know. But but I'm like, dude. I mean, I, I hammered on Robert about mm-hmm. a speaker problem, right, Robert? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm you like, did, dude. Did, well, did how many times do I got to do this? I mean, come on, man. Mm-hmm. And then people are like, man, you're so hard on your people. You know, people don't stay with you. The core people stay with me. Yeah. Core. Totally. And they wouldn't go anywhere. Dude. They, they on my team, baby. Yep. I, I don't need 500 people to win the war. I need the right people. You understand? Yeah. So, so people don't attack me. People say bad stuff about me on the internet. And they're not attacking me. They're attacking the rest of the people in my organization trying to get me to go away, dude. Okay? Because you come do that to my face, you're going to find out, whoa, that's some fury, bro. This ain't just a <laughs> show. This ain't a speaker on a stage. I am trying to protect my family and my business. Getting it's one thing. Holding on to it. And multiplying it. Another thing, okay? So we're talking about being ruthless, okay? This is what I want you to do. I want you to make a list of the people that won't buy your product from you. That won't support you in your mission. That you spend time with. Yeah, dude. And go to them. Hey, man, when are you going to buy my product from me? You're my friend, right? Yeah, man. When? Well, we don't mix. You shouldn't mix them. That makes me feel bad. That just pissed me off. You said that to me, dude. That guy. Hey, dude, you're wrong. I'll give you. I'll give you an example. When I when I was moving to Cal uh, from Cal from San Diego to LA to come work for you, and I had a lot of people that were in retail that I knew, and I was like, I'm going to work for Grant Cardone. You know, he does sales training. Ooh, man, dude, sales training's a hard gig, man. It's tough who, to who sell. Uh, actually, one of the sales managers that worked for my dad at the time, he's, yeah, he yeah, came yeah. from the car business, and he was like, dude, tough to sell sales training to sales managers, sales guys. It you is know, tough. Dude, it's, you it is hard, man. You sure you want to do that? Yeah. And, you know, I had all these people around me that were like. Yeah, what's he still doing? Man, I don't even know. Yeah. yeah, I don't even I don't even know, but I know that he ain't where I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. So you see, you see, see that that then that, that, that thing that's like okay, never take advice from a quitter, because the only way that guy would have the only way that guy have, would have an opinion mm-hmm. on that is he must have handled a sales training vendor at one point. For sure. Said, dude, that's a hard deal, dude. Because he knew that he freaking lit him or, up. Or or he wanted to go uh-huh. do that. Decided, nah, I'm gonna sit here at the desk and wait. Yep. Yep. Bailed on it. Either yep. way, he quit. Right. And then Jared at that point, because they, dude, why, 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 why would you tell somebody that, man? Yeah. I don't understand why you would even tell me that. Mm-hmm. Keep it to yourself, dude. And then, and then even when, when I started working with you and like, you know, all my friends and started posting a lot on social media and more, it's like, man, you posting a lot, man. You're, you're, all that stuff, man. Every time I turn on, man, how do I turn that off, man? I'm like, dude, you just unfollow me. It's yeah, really easy. Yeah, yeah. Because at that point, I was making the, the shift to being like, I don't, I, I don't care. This is what I do. And then I started getting a bunch of people following me that actually liked it. Dude, I got a guy, a good story. Story. I got a guy, uh, you know, like him. He likes me. I like him. Every time I'm around him, though, it's a little bit of that, uh, mm, you know, mm, you know. And I told my wife, I said, you know, I just don't feel good around the guy. Yeah. Nice guy. You know, nice guy. Like the guy. Mm-hmm. Want to be friends with the guy. Mm-hmm. I don't like that, man. I don't like that, you know. So I'm like, hey, dude, why? Every time I'm with you, on this date, bam. On this date, bam. I don't mean anything by it. Yeah, yeah. I understand you don't mean anything by it, which is really freaking terrifying. Yeah. You don't mean anything by it, dude, but it feels like this. You know, mm-hmm. I, I leave here and I, and I got it in my side, bro. And, and I wake up the next morning. So that means you're either waking up the next morning thinking about how did I feel when I did that to Grant? Mm-hmm. Or you don't feel it at all. Both of them are dangerous. Yep. Because you don't feel good about you. I don't feel good about me. I don't feel good about us. You want to handle it or what? So the first thing to do is handle the guy. Mm-hmm. Have the communication with him. 
But you got to be, you got to have that line drawn in your own sand and saying, dude, no, it ain't okay, bro. So what I want you to do is I want you to put a okay and a not okay. Okay. Who's on your side, man? What side are they on, man? Pick. I just want to know where the enemy is. Okay. Shane, Pennsylvania. Shane, how you doing, buddy? This is a really important Shane, topic what's up, right dude, here, dude. It's so this is a, this is a money saver, totally success dude. saver, totally. game saver here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shane? Hey, how are you? Good, buddy. How you doing? Man, I'm fantastic. All you got to do is blow on your hand. And if you're not thankful, then the problem's with you. Real quick, I love you. I love mentors like you because I only learn from watching. And your shit, your stuff is all point. I don't want to be. But anyway, I want to tell you, I started cutting people off on January 8th. And all my family, I'm the youngest of six. I'm, I uh, failed school, and they all went to college, and they disowned me. And uh, Wow, they disowned you? They come back to me and jacked me up and got off sex. I unfriended them on Facebook, and one of them called Child Service to call me a week ago. Bang. And uh, I came through that, of course, because I'm a good dad. But anyway, everything you're saying is on point, man. I love it. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. Like, like, like l let me ask, so when did you not like draw the line in the sand has there been a time where you didn't where you knew somebody was on the wrong side with you shane and you yeah, didn't draw the line yeah unfortunately man unfortunately and what you're saying is that i tolerated it for i'm 46 years old man i tolerated till i was 40. yeah and then yeah. just january i cut the cord on everything and said it's all in or no either you're put you're either rowing in my boat if you're putting holes you're out but you're right i waited a long time man but yeah. i'm in now 100%. See, see see what shane said is he was tolerant mm -hmm. yeah he was he, he was you merciful. It. You minimize it. Yeah, you're like, yeah, eh, you know, probably man, won't do it's, it. It's my know, mom, man. Yeah, it's my dad, man. My dad. Dude. When was the turning point for you? Uh, you know, I just like one day, I, I think I was 26, 27, 28 years old. I'm like, dude, they, they don't want what I want, man. Mm -hmm. I got to handle them. But I've had to handle it all this time. My, my older sister, mm -hmm. Diane, who I love, yeah. Diane, right? She, but she, she runs scared. So she's like, oh, you sure that's all right? Dude, you got to stop that. Okay. If you can't talk to me about this topic mm -hmm. without doing that, we can't talk about it. Mm -hmm. So I draw a line in the sand. I don't disconnect from her yeah. immediately. I, I don't kill her or you her. You communicate her. with her. Hey, you got to knock it off. My mom, when I was uh, 29 years, 30 years old, 32 years mm -hmm. old actually, my mom was at my house in La Jolla. I said, man, I'm thinking about starting a real estate business. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm like, hey, you got to stop that. That night, I sat down. I think I told you the story. I wrote down a bunch of questions. Yep. I interviewed my mom, and I said, these are the answers. Read into the recording what I want you to say. Yeah. It's on the Rules of yeah. Success, yeah, yeah, success yeah, Act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and so the next morning, I sat down with a microphone. I said, Mom, I'm thinking about buying a real estate, uh, starting a real estate business. And she's like, uh, I said, read the paper. Read, bitch. <laughs> read. Can you read? Read. Uh, Grant. That is a great idea. I think you will be successful in all your endeavors. I look forward to when you have over a hundred million, hundred, hundred million in real estate. Right? Yeah, that's good, mom. So, so what I did was I handled her. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't cut her head off, dude. She couldn't be any more positive. She just, that's where yeah. she was, man. Yeah. It so, was out of love. It was, and that's the danger of that's the danger. people that are naysayers, not necessarily haters, but yeah. naysayers in yeah. your space. And I mean, like, dude, it's it, society doesn't teach you that, man. And no, like, nobody like, teaches and, this and, class. And I wouldn't have known it, yeah. ever, if it weren't for you. Yeah, you, you, you're like, hey, man, you got to make some freaking choices, like and hard then, choices. And there's been friends where I'm like, dude, you're not allowed here anymore. Man, we've been friends for. That's right, dude. We've been, we've been. You used the right word there. We've been, yeah. and we ain't no more. It can't be. Okay. And I know so many people refuse to do this, and, the, and you know what? It's affecting your bank account. It's affecting your life. It's affecting your marriage. If you're going home and talking to people after the barbecue, you know so and so. Yeah. Dude, why don't you do it to their face, man? Be ruthless. Mm -hmm. Chip from Ohio. It's hard to do though, man. It is so hard, dude. right? It's such a major. Concern, Anybody you yeah. need to do it with? Who are you thinking about when we have this conversation? You know, right now I've I've got it pretty I've dialed got it in. Pretty dialed in, you know. Chip. Robert, uh, you got anybody, Robert? Chip. Right now? Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm clean. What's up, Chip? Hey, man, how you doing? Hey, who's one person, Chip? Chip, who's one person right now you need to ax? Oh, man. My Don't grandma. go for the ax right away, though, guys. No, you gotta handle handle them first, right? My grandmother, man. I'll tell you what. She is not supportive. Yeah. Tell me, I mean, tell, me, she, tell me what she says, Chip. 
she said, look, I, I said the same thing. I want to go into real estate. You know, I want to make a name for myself. She said, I hold up. I, she financially supports me, right? And she goes, that's not a good idea. I didn't invest that money for you to go to college and do that. I said, you know what? I got to go out on my own. And I live in our house, and I had to live with a friend. And I'm currently living with a friend, and I got to do what I got to do. Yeah. So you here's know? a person that invested money in your college. Right. Now, was the, deal, was the deal that you had to go into the profession that, that she wanted you to? Yeah, she wanted me to be a podiatrist, a doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. So I said, you know, that's not where my passion is. I got to do what I got to do. Yeah, exactly. Say, hey, I'll give you the money yeah. back, babe. Now, you want to get on my yeah, side exactly. here? You want to yeah, support me in the real estate thing? I'm going to become a podiatrist in real estate. <laughs> what is, what, right, dude, exactly. what is a podiatrist? A foot, anyway. a foot doctor, I think. Foot, foot doctor. Yeah, and babe, if you can't get on my side, I'm going to put my foot up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to need a rectal right, surgery. Man. Oh, man. Damn yeah, right. You know? <laughs> Hey, that's awesome, Chip. Anything I can do for you in real estate, brother, let me know, all right? Well, thank you. God bless. Thank you. Julian, California. Julian from California. California is the place you ought to be. So they packed up their bags and they moved to Beverly Hills, that is, swimming pools and movie star. Hey, the first thing you know, oh, Jed's a millionaire. <laughs> they say, Jed, move away from there. What's up, Julian? You, you don't know hey, this yeah, dude, on, Beverly Hills. What's I don't know if you heard so. Yeah. What's going on, brother? Hey, Julian. Hey, who? This show today is called Be Ruthless or Get Run Over. Uh, I, I think people really need to take this to heart. Is yeah. uh, Before being ruthless on the world, you know, you got to be ruthless on yourself. And I think people need to be, you know, 100x ruthless on themselves and then be 10x ruthless on the world. Because, you know, like Bruce like Lee that. and people like that that are inspirational, you know, they go hard on themselves before, you know, they go hard on the world. And, and Grant, you've really taught me and my brother how to, how to you know, 10x ourselves. And this week, we closed our first sale. And it was, in a way, slightly being ruthless, a little bit with the customer and saying, listen, we've been working with you for 12 weeks. We need to close this sale on the website now. And, and by doing that, by taking action and, and saying, sign here, it, it, it worked, and we got the check. Dude, so see, thank you, Grant. So this, this, this Julian's making a good point. Before you're going to go out and be ruthless on everybody else, dude, inside job, boys and girls. Because mm. that'll fix a lot of the mm. other stuff. Because what People you're gonna, might quit jacking with dude, you. Dude, the thing is, is what I see with myself, like yeah. when I start working through it, is it's effort and it's work to figure your own shit out. Yeah, yeah, And as yeah. you start working through that, right, you, right. you're like, hey, this is valuable. Right. Like. Confront. The confront. work the work that I'm doing with yeah. myself, yeah. dude, it is valuable. Like yeah. my yeah. time is valuable. Yeah. Like, hey, I got my shit going on right here. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to figure it out. Like yeah. Yeah. seriously, yeah. back yeah. Off. You're not gonna have any net worth, folks. You're not gonna have a decent network mm -hmm. until you improve your self worth. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to sound like Eric Thomas now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm starting to yeah, wrap I'm it out. The preacher, okay? Yeah. All right, let, let's take some of these questions here. I got Nick Lawson. Two Phoenix Prod says ruthless. Uh, Swiftson Haler, negative people are challenging your commitment. Sell or be sold? Dude, there's a lot of questions on the chat right now. Let's hear it, bro. About spouses. How do I get my spouse on the same page? First, you. You got it. Mm. You got to hit it first. <laughs> Loosen them up. Just in case it doesn't work out right, that'd be your last one. Right. <laughs> get some in. Get some in right there before the end. You know what I'm saying? Bam! Boom! What was that? It's the last time. <laughs> Just thought I'd get something from you before you leave, okay? Um, look, dude, you guys, guys, you guys got to sit down with your spouse and say, look, we're married. We got married, okay? Marriage is already hard enough. Sell it. It's hard enough, right? Did we know this was going to be hard? Now, when I sign the document through thick and thin till the, the end death. of time, through death do its part. And beyond. Uh, uh, nowhere in there did it say, if you're against me. Yeah. That is not, that was not in the sermon. Mm -hmm. Even if you're a gift, you've been against me lately, okay? Now, rather than telling me I'm getting fat, why don't you take me, let's go work out together, mm -hmm. okay? And maybe you telling me I'm getting fat is actually her being ruthless with me. But you saying things like, you work so hard. You always, you, my sister does that to lovingly, me. Lovingly, lovingly. You, 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 all, I just, you know, can't we spend more time together? Dude, I'm trying to get our financial scene together, okay? Look, you guys got to get on the same page. She's doing that or he's doing that because you haven't said, hey, this is our game. This is what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Sell it. Get everybody on the same page so y'all don't have to keep having this conversation. Yep. 
So I don't know, man. It, this is this. I, I I definitely have to work on it, and I love yeah. how you always push me into it. Yeah. Because you push you push me into into confronting the, the deal, and, and the relationship's going to get tighter totally. and tighter, stronger and, and stronger. You, you know, every time like you know, he's like, ah, I come down on. It. Every time he does that, I'm like, I think it it brings us closer because it it's like, dude, I'm handling my shit. Like I'm yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm we're figuring out how to freaking and it cooks a meal, man. how to freaking groove. It's all in, well done, you know. Man. Like, Damn, I know what to expect in this environment. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I know what to expect from Donald Trump on TV, mm-hmm. right? I'm like, dude, anything could happen. I'm watching. Yep. You know, every media, every media, all, all the networks, they're thrilled. They're, oh, dude, uh, I forget who's the who's the guy that runs uh, CBS. Yeah, he he, he, he yeah, was yeah. like he he said this has been the greatest gift to media. Yeah. In, guys in the ruthless. last twenty years. Ruthless, yeah. ruthless. Okay, yeah. Sterling Anderson from Nebraska. And he's <clears throat> My man, what's going on, big man? What's up, guys? How y'all doing? Good, this is Sterling. Good. Good. Sterling. Now, now, dude, Sterling, that's Robert there talking hey, to hey, you. Hey, 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 hey. What's up, man? Sterling, loving your show, by the way, buddy. I appreciate that, man. Thanks so much for the opportunity. I appreciate that. Yeah, you got it, man. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, let me ask you a question, big man. Yes. What, 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 what can you add to this conversation about being ruthless with friends and family? You no. Know, Really, and it's something that I've really that I've really picked up from you. I'm actually going through something right now where I had to, you know, really get ruthless with uh, with a longtime partner that I've had. You know, kind of stiffened me out of like seven grand. Mm. So you know, it comes down to a point where it's just like, you know, and I admit it, I kind of did the, the sympathy thing in the past. Okay, man, well I understand. Okay, well we'll work this out on this end. Oh man, I got to be paid. Yeah. I did this. We're in a partnership. We made some things happen. I've got to be paid. I have things I have to take care of. I have things that I need to do. So it's kind of like you said, drawing that line in the sand. We're either going to make this happen or we got to dissolve this. And that's pretty much the point that we're at right now. Yeah. You know, I can't, for what I'm building for my business, my brand, my family, I can't, you know, sit by, I can't sit aside and just be run over. Yeah. Let so me ask you a question, business, Sterling. You let, absolutely have to be ruthless. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Was there a time in the past before this seven grand where you were like, you just kind of looked over it? Oh, man. Yeah, there was. You know, but because of our friendship, you know, and then, of course, ties to the family and everything, I'm like, okay, well, let me just, you know, give him a shot, give him a chance. No, no, Stay not, not. Yeah, but, but dude, but it wasn't because time, of the family, but oh, it wasn't man. because of the family and the friendship. It's because you weren't ruthless. Yeah. yeah. Right. Ster- Sterling, we That's talked it. about this yesterday. What did I tell you and when once, we were talking about that? you know, people that. start getting comfortable with that, they think, okay, well, I, I can pass that. something else on to them and pass something else on to them. You ain't going to do nothing about it. Yeah. So I think, you know, again, we're at the point right now where it's just like, you know, shit, if you off the pot, we got to make something happen with this here. Because now everything kind of snowballs yeah. affecting my business if you're not taking care of it. You're lucky it only costs you seven grand, you brother. Know, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you what, uh, Sandy, uh, her dad had a business partner that was like toxic. And it went kind of on and on and on until finally he was like, "Dude, that's it. It's that uh, we're done. That's it. Yeah. It's over." I yeah. mean, it it, 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 it can cost you some money if you don't yeah. get this. No, I, I'm, no, I'm excited to learn this now. Man. Yeah. Hey, watch the Sterling right. Report, Grant Cardone TV. It's all about real estate. Okay. Uh, Sterling Anderson does an awesome job on the show. Thanks for calling in, buddy. I appreciate it. I'm gonna tell you what it cost that one guy. I brought it up to you, Ralph. Mm. Everything. Mm-hmm. Lost everything, okay, because he would not be ruthless. I told the guy the first three weeks I met him. He wouldn't be ruthless with his wife, wouldn't be ruthless with his family, uh, with, with, with the guy that was running his company, wouldn't be ruthless with this employee. I watched, I went to Vegas with him. He gives one of his guys five grand to, 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 to gamble with. I'm like, dude, what are you doing, bro? That's stupid. Yeah. Oh, no, that creates loyalty. No, it don't, man. It creates ignorance. Five grand. Okay. I'm like, that was stupid. I don't know. What, what did the guy do for you? You know, you were just telling me you were having problems with him. Now you give him five grand? That's ridiculous. That creates loyalty. No, bro. Okay. And you know what? I didn't pay attention. I, w- I got in bed with him. I became reasonable on the ruthless thing. Cost me money, too. Mm-hmm. Cost me more than seven grand, too. Seven grand. I'm like, that ain't dang. Bradley. 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 Is this the real Bradley? This is the real oh, Bradley. Dude, oh, man. you got, this is the oh first my time God, call, the real man. Bradley. It's J. Rod and G. Money. What's hey, cracking? Hey, brother, good to have you here. And, and if you guys don't know the real Bradley, by the way, he's contributing a show to GCTV now called The, the bottom, bottom Line. line. The Give me a bottom line, line on this ruthless thing real quick, big boy. 
sometimes people got it twisted. The bottom line is there's too many people being ruthless with their friends and family, and that's why they're not shutting them down. And that's why they're not putting a stop to the nonsense. You see what I'm saying? I used to be the same dude. I've been ruthless since day one. I didn't care enough. You know what I'm saying? It's almost twisted. You almost got to be not be ruthless because I think they might be being ruthless right now by letting them leech on. They ruthless to themselves. I don't understand that. So what he's saying? He's saying I've been I've been ruthless because I've been hard and didn't care about people and I was reckless. No, is that what you're saying? But but he's saying and he's saying now what happens is you have to back and dial that back because. Uh, no, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, you 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 get the you get the flow, Jerry. But look, having no pity, if you have no pity, you let them keep doing drugs. You let them keep hanging out. You gotta have, you gotta be almost the opposite of ruthless. Ruthless is letting them get away with murder. Is not holding oh. them accountable. Oh. That is, oh, he's no, flipping. No, no. He's, he's flipping it. Man. Yo, you have twist some pity and you'll stop him in their tracks. Y'all y'all agree with that? I think he's all. Yeah. What, what do y'all think? No, he's yeah. just he's taking a more he's taking a deep philosophical approach to it. I'm just giving you the bottom line. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but 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 you see, so what Brad's saying is you're actually, you know. You know, it, it, yeah, I see what you're saying. It's a, it's an inverted. It's a root. It's an the inversion, barbarian man. is the one that won't draw the line because everybody gets hurt. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah, Dude, yeah. I used to do it. Matter of fact, I think I, I think I had a cognition when I was hanging with you. Remember? Yeah, yeah. The employees, I'm like, dude, but I don't want to fire them because I care. I feel bad for them. And you yeah, said, but that's dude, mercy. That's, you that's don't mercy care and pity. Enough. But by definition, you, you, by definition, that's mercy and that's pity and and the drug addict. Oh, dude, I know you got a problem. It's just you're just smoking weed on the weekend, you know. Or you just I know you got a back pain, so you're just eating freaking forty Percocets. A day. Somebody had pity on Prince, bro. That's why we ain't got no yep. more Prince, because nobody would be ruthless with the guy. So you're getting all complicated. You know, you should you should change the name yeah, of it to... Yeah, I'm getting all twisted. Dude, you should change it I'm from the bottom the line to the complicated <laughs> bottom yeah, line. The, the, eight, the eight twists and turns before yeah, we get the to the bottom. eight twists and turns before Dude, we I'm get make, to the I'm bottom line. I'm making people think, dog. That's all. I'm making people think. Every day on Grant Cardone TV... The Real Brad Lee drops a show. It's a one minute, one and a half minutes called The Bottom Line. Mm-hmm. Follow it. Hey, Brad, really appreciate you being on the network, brother. Appreciate you. Hey, I got, I got your product coming out to you, man. I'm watching you guys live. Keep this good stuff up. Thank you, brother. Appreciate oh, you, man. Okay, folks, I hope you find a, I hope you get some... Uh, this, is, this, is a, this, is a, this is a topic, guys. This is a show you need to watch over and over and over again. Yeah. It's something at, at 32 years old, I'm still figuring out, I'm still learning, because it wasn't something that was ever part of the way I was brought up. It was like, hey, if you've got friends that are doing bad stuff around you, get rid of them, stay away from handle, them, don't get in them trouble. First. Handle them first, don't just start getting rid of people, okay? My mom didn't want me hanging out with kids that were doing bad things yeah, that, on yeah, their own. Yeah, but, yeah. but I think that this relates specifically for your friends who are close to you, who you've already allowed to be brought into your inner you guys, circles. You guys at Vivint, man. You guys at Vivint. So many of you guys follow me at Vivint. You're knocking on doors and you got some guy dragging you away, yep. inviting you to go have a beer at four o'clock in the afternoon. Dude, it's not cool. So what I would tell you to do is this. Make a list of all your friends. Number two, make a list of everything that's tolerable, that you'll tolerate and not tolerate. What are the things you can't tolerate anymore? I don't care if you're gonna miss them, okay? Oh, I, mean, I, I like to do that. Dude, what can you not tolerate in mm-hmm. your life anymore? The yeah. behaviors, the smoking the weed, the taking off early, the negative people, the naysayers. Don't, I don't wanna do this. The Thanksgiving. You guys go to, you go to Thanksgiving dinner with your family, you don't even like them. You know, go in there. It's gonna cost you, okay? You have this emotional hangover for weeks after the Christmas, the Thanksgiving. It's the, painful just showing up. Dude, don't quit going. Yeah. Okay? So what's things you can tolerate and not tolerate? And the third thing to do is you need to sit down with these people and say, hey, dude, maybe send them a letter. Ain't okay anymore. Land in the sign, and I'm not Obama. Boom. You cross that line, I'm going to nuke you. What are you going to talk about tomorrow on the Cardone Zone? Tomorrow on the Cardone Zone, dude. I can't even tell anybody. You can't because it's, so it's going to be, it's gonna gonna be sh- controversial. I'm going to show you how to blow up Snapchat. Okay, that's what I'm going to show you how to do tomorrow. I'm going to show you how to blow up your Snapchat channel. I have, I am one of the top five Snapchat five weeks. 
<laughs> Five weeks, man. How you do that, man? man you do it you by the young hustle. GC, man. You do it you with the young hustle. Guys, be okay. ruthless with your friends. Be ruthless with your family. But most importantly, dude, you got to get ruthless with yourself or you won't be able to do any of that. We'll see you next week here on Young Hustlers. Hey, Grant, who condemns the hustle? Dude, the only, the only person that would condemn the hustle are the people that have quit on the hustle.